So starting from here, the first thing that we did, we worked on our hip uh, exercise, like moving hips side to side, which we set up always starting from close guard. I have one leg here, the other leg comes up. I turn myself all the way perpendicular to Jason so I can pass my leg. And then we start the exercise from there. Always keeping the arm that I'm attacking on the inside. This is not necessary for me to submit the guy now. It's just for me to get this mobility here and learn how to move my hips without much effort, without be struggling or grabbing the guy's leg and trying to pull all the way. And then I get stuck trying to turn to the side. So this helps a lot. And then it's going to get to the point that you guys are going to be able to go from here, just swing and pass leg and get the person there. But remember to always start from close guard because a lot of times I show the exercise, I see people starting from here, and I always make the comment that the arms are already far, the person is gonna go away from you. You have to have at least one leg trapping the person for you to be able to shift on that direction. And then we start attacking the arm, establishing that when the person hides elbows here and they go from this position, they are using, he's using my own hip not to move his arm to the other so I cannot move his arm to the other side. So when I try to go here and I pull, the arm is, is stuck. So we have established that when I make my grip over here, I move my hips up now, pushing all the way, and then I can drag the arm, and then I can lock it again so the arm is strapped on the side. From this point, always helps to have a hand on the shoulder. And it's okay to go over here and grab the key for you to keep the arm over there. But what's really going to make the difference, this helps a lot. What makes the difference is me pulling him down with my legs and keeping his arm to this direction right here. When I go from this point, I can step on his hip and bring this leg all the way up. Remember that my hip can never be my uh, uh, hips never pointing towards the person. My hips, they need to be pointing outside all the way so I can move this leg up and then I have room to pass my leg all the way here. And just avoid this situation where your feet are gonna be pointing to his hips or even to the side like this. I like to push this one all the way diagonal to his shoulder because to this direction right here, that's where he doesn't have base because I am controlling his arm, right? So as I get to this point and I pass right here, the hand goes from the shoulder to the arm and then I can finish. Now, when I do this and I trap the arm and I bring it all the way in, a few things. I see a lot of people getting here and I see them doing this. If you do this, it's not necessarily wrong, but it's not exactly what we're doing right now either. Because I would have to have my hand here and it would be similar to an arm drag. For me to pull his arm as I am here with him, I would do the arm drag and then I can do the exact same thing. And then I have a lot of leverage there as well. He's already tapping. But if I just go here and I do this, I don't have the same control. So I was showing that if I am here with him, create some resistance there. That's how we are locked to each other. And here you can find that you have support. My body closer to him, of course, makes that support even better. Now, if we just here, for example, and he does this, I have no control on that. And that's what's happening to you. So you have a false idea that you have control because your body's there, so it makes it a little better. But by the time that you try to attack the arm, it should not be like this. It should be either here or here, which is the arm drag situation. And this is not the one that we're touching right now. We're not talking about this right now. We're just talking about keeping the arm like this, right? Now, <clears throat> when I get the arm here, I pass to the side and I get to this point, instead of stepping with my foot on his hip, I also have the option which of just simply climbing my guard. And when I climb my guard in this position right here, I can actually control the guy better. And from this point, I can use my leg over his shoulder to shift my body. And then I can pass <clears throat> and the result would be the same as me stepping on his hip. So a lot of times when you get here, if you go for this, 
you create space. When I get here and I go for this, I know that he's inside my guard. I know he's always locked. And then I can just use this leg. The way that I use the leg, focus only on this now, is by turning my foot that direction. My right foot follows. And naturally, my head comes to the side. And then I can just swing right here. I would have the control in the arm, of course, and finish from there. So I don't even have to go up and control, close the guard, and then switch. I can just go up right away and just do this to get him from there. The last touch that we're going to give is a lot of times can be very challenging. Resist. Pulling his arm over here, resist. Even if I go up right here, that guy is too strong. He's going to be blocking there. So instead of me fighting that person too strong, I'm going to create some more leverage with that by opening his gi, which there's not much into it right here so he's not going to be worried about that as much and even if he's blocking i'm going to spend my time going to take my time and get the gear open when i get the lapel i move this way his arm is on that side i trap on this side and i make it tight right here but notice how i move to the side because by the time that i come back it's already squeezing on the arm and hurting him now it's time for me to go back to dragging and this helps a lot. Now I don't have to worry about controlling with my hand only. This one comes up. And as I get here now, let's do the second option. Instead of stepping on him, my leg goes up. I shift all the way. I pass to the side. And now I can let go. And I finish the one ball from there. Okay? So let's practice all this. Let's go on all of this together. And let's see which one you like better and which one works better for you. Any questions, let me know. Okay? One, two. Let's go.